said they like music. So does that mean they dance? <gasps> I did not know this feature. Dude, he found something new out. Look at it. Look, look at it. That's awful music to dance to. I'm so sorry. I'm just real. Greetings, folks and man here, and welcome back to 1.12.2. Because today I am going to be starting off with a bunch of special episodes, okay? They'll be coming out over the next few months, and I am going to be basically rebooting some of my old videos, okay? To be specific, five of them. Five mods which are like very old, which I covered on my channel before, I'm gonna be doing them again. Because these are fantastic mods that I love, that I grew up playing, and I made videos of them <laughs> a couple of years ago, and they sound like this. Greetings folks, Don Man here, and welcome back to the Minecraft mod things. And I don't like that. I am not a fan of this. And so for newer viewers, this will be a little treat. And for the older viewers, this will be a trip down memory lane. So yeah, let's get started. Today, we are going to be starting off with the Beasts mod as I sheepishly increase the volume. <laughs> so yeah, this is a mod that very simply adds on one new biome, which is like this on-surface coral reef. And the whole aesthetic is pretty cool, okay? It's landfish, as you can see from these paintings over here. So yeah, we're just gonna go over some things that that we already kind of know, okay? Like there are palm trees, and this is the type of wood. There are jellywood planks, which can be turned into this stuff. There are these various blocks that the mod adds in. And there's the bunch of flora that we get these blocks from, including the palm trees. We also have coral. We also have coral blocks that spawn around the place, which is pretty cool. It adds in the newer blocks, because remember, 1.13 was the aquatic update. So if you get this, you can get those blocks in the older versions of the game. And you also have these uh, chorus fruit looking coral stalks, which are all over the place. And anemone, whatever these things are. Also, these giant... Is that supposed to be a shell or a conch or something? I don't know. They're pretty cool, though. I think it's a conch. I wonder if, like, I wonder if you can, like, blow into it and make, like, a really big sound. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's go over some of the crafting, because I now have come up with a very intelligent method of crafting, which is just, just, just enough items mod. It's perfect. It's, it's goddamn perfect. First things first, you can make the shell shields which are made out of these blocks, which you can just get from the biome. You will just find them scattered all over the place. Next, you have the raw dagger fish, which I have no idea how to get. I have tried to find information, but unfortunately, there is like very little information about this mod. Some of the features are not implemented yet. Like you saw that little coin thing, as you can see in my eye, not yet, intim <laughs> not yet intimated, not yet implemented. So yeah, this mod isn't a hundred percent finished, but you know, it's still it's still a hood classic. Uh, next up, we have the reef mixture, which is made by cooking up some of the mob drops. And you also have fairy bread, which unfortunately doesn't have a crafting recipe, which I'm very mad about. You also have coconut milk, which you can make by coconut. And coconut, you it's just, there it is. Coconut. It's it's also a crab, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you get the coconut. And remember this, because coconut m m coconut meat, coconut milk is gonna be significant in a moment. Also, we have the puffer armor, which <laughs> is made using puffer scales, which is another mob drop. You have the diamond-tipped carrot, which which does eight attack damage, which is kind of crazy. That's a netherite sword right there. And you can just get that with a carrot and, uh, actually, again, no crafting recipe. Again, not yet implemented. I gotta look out for that. You also have the jelly set of tools, which is just made by the jelly planks, which you can make out of, uh, those trees right there. And you have this stuff, which is this, like, Spartan-looking armor, the Spartapod, is that what it's called? Oh, yeah, Spartapod armor, which hasn't been implemented, which is, again, sad, because look at that fin. So cool. So now let's get back into the mobs, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna remember some of these. And starting off with the puffer pup. Oh I remember these things. Aren't they little tiny babies? Look at the baby. 
<laughs> you know it's gonna be funny i'm gonna make like half the jokes are gonna be the same jokes just said in a more confident voice and everyone can compare the videos and go oh yeah he said that again what an idiot uh, <laughs> you can tame these guys with leafy bones which can be crafted like so just a bone and a leaf <laughs> any leaf and you can go, you are my friend now, and did I make him sit down? Oh, no, 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 he's following me around. Cutest. Cutest little beings I've ever seen. Okay. Adorable. Also, the the page for this, the Curse 4 page, said they like music. So does that mean they dance? <gasps> I did not know this feature! Dude, he found something new out! Look at it! <laughs> Look at it! That's awful music to dance to, I'm so sorry, I'm just realizing I just picked the most ominous thing ever, but you can just chill there, you know. What if I make it- Oh, he just walks around while dancing. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Do you even- do you sit down? Or is there like a different animation for you sitting down? You're moving around. And if I click you, will you st Oh, maybe you'll just wander around. I kind of want to put you in a protective something or the other because there's like a few- hostile uh or you can just roam around okay be brave little puffer pup because dangerous things are coming also if you punch one <laughs> they do that <laughs> which is fantastic i still believe this to be one of the greatest mobs ever made okay this the puffer pup is a goaded creature the next few i'm just gonna go through quickly because they don't have that many features they're just kind of hanging around some of them like fight you and stuff you have the coconut crabs which again are the little things that you can get coconuts from very cute we have the coral branchy which apparently spawn like uh, endermites when you break these stalks and they will attack you and there's different types of them yeah yeah, yeah. they come in all the different colors that the the coral come in pink red yellow blue I think there's one more. Pink, red, yellow, blue. Is there another piece of coral? Is there like orange coral? Why do I like picture orange coral? I don't see. I think it just uh, it just has the four. Does normal Minecraft have more coral? Which what's the other one? Is it orange? How is my brain blanking out so hard on this? A wood branchy? Does it, I have no idea what this. Uh, maybe trees. <laughs> That's the best explanation I have. Maybe trees, that's because I see oak, I see uh, birch, I see acacia, I see dark oak. Is there a spruce one? That might be spruce. One of those is spruce, one of those is oak. Okay, they're here, they're all here. We have the skewer shrimp, which are these scorpion looking things, and you can cook them up. They're part of that recipe we saw uh, a moment ago. The butterfly fish are fish that act as butterflies. There's a few colors and I like them. They're pretty, okay? There, there weren't many flying mobs in the game back then. There still aren't, but y you know. <laughs> they're, straight, they're still cool. The scallops, on the other hand, are pretty weird because they're scallops, but they function like mosquitoes, basically, right? They fly around, they're tiny and they annoy you, okay? And they float like super fast. They like shoot up into the sky for some reason. <laughs> like, look, look at them. But they are like awful and they will bite you, which is yucky. Uh, next up, we have the leg fish, which again, very awesome. I Isn't there like a leg fish in Alex's caves? <laughs> but that's like a fish with ha which has fing fings, which has uh, fins that kind of look like legs. Whereas these are just straight up leg fish. There's, there's a, like a dozen varieties of these guys, which is my favorite. I like this one. I don't know. There's just something about it. It's the one from... Uh, Finding Nemo. <laughs> no, is it that one? No, no, no. This isn't the one, right? Is this the one? It could be. I mean, I th I think it has the colors of this, but the body shape of that. I think. I don't know. I'm, I'm How am I forgetting so much stuff? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, so yeah, we took a look at all of these. My god, I sped through those. Okay, now the, the other few, they get cooler. Okay, so yeah, hold your horses. This next one, they actually have like some pretty cool features. We have the slime slug, which is a very cool looking backwards moving feature. Why do you move like that? Why, you, why, why did you back out like a car? He just, just did this. Uh, 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 
very weird, but you are extremely colorful and you would be pretty cool in an aquarium. Here's the thing. You can build a waterless aquarium with these things, which is awesome. But do you survive underwater is something I've been wondering. No, they don't. That's interesting. They, they just float. Hmm. <laughs> Finding out no new stuff about old mods. We have the Hermit Turtle, which is, if you can just about see it, if you get within like five blocks of these things, they just go back into this one right there. And so yeah, that's what it looks like. There weren't turtles in the, in the mod, in the game, I mean, at this point. We're there. 1.13, right. We have the Trimola, which is a sunfish. And there's like different varieties. Is there? I bet there was a blue one. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. I don't know. I Which one do I like more? Mm, is there a baby? Ah, they're kind of the same. <laughs> I was like, if there was a baby, I like the babies most. I don't know. They're tiny. Uh, are there baby these things? Nope. Baby slime slugs? Nope. And the next creature up is the... I'm just going to take this. Again, eight attack damage. Netherite sword. What's going on? <laughs> it's just no way to find this thing. It's just mythical weapon. This is the anemone called cro cl Oh my god, why can't I speak today? God damn! I've had like a hundred flubs. I'm so sorry. I haven't been recording often. I should do this more. I'm losing my edge. I, I'm becoming an old man. I already did this mod. I'm doing it again. What's going on? But this thing, this thing can be bred. And I'm pretty. No, come back! I'm giving you a wife. <laughs> <gasps> oh, look at the fish! Look at the little fish! Uh, there. Okay, so if you do this enough, it will drop. It will drop meat scraps, which is disgusting. What are these used for? Why is the texture so just atrociously nasty? They're not used for anything, of course. <laughs> that hasn't been implemented yet. It's just, just nasty fish parts that you can obtain for no reason. That's gross. Ew. Ew. <laughs> now these next two are the meanies, okay? They're the bad guys. They're eels, okay? So the first one <laughs> is the giant garden eel. And their animation, if I remember, is goddamn hilarious. <laughs> yeah, they just bonk their enemies to death <laughs> with their big noses. Okay, and yep, they look like that one pink panther villain. And yeah, these guys will find them hanging around. Oh, let's see if we can find one. They're pretty easy to spot if one is there. Because they're just like living trees, essentially, right? Is there one around here? There doesn't seem to be. I mean, there, there's, there's trimolas, though. There's the little sunfish. But none of those eels. And this next, next thing is actually quite terrifying. Which is the vile eel. And it's this brutish creature right here. I, like, miss when, like, most hostile mobs just used to be, like, these chunky lizards. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure if you put all the mods together, you would have, like, like a dozen chunky lizards from the old game. Like, half of our spawn, if I remember correctly, was just chunky lizards. Okay, that's why everyone love, loves Mobzilla, because he was the chunkiest lizard. That's why everyone likes Alex's caves. <laughs> Because we're just going back. Ba we're just going back to the basics. We're just back to chunky lizards. I don't know what it is. The, just, the Minecraft mind can just... I don't know. It's just enamored with the idea of just like big, fat, chunky reptilian creatures roaming the earth, threatening the local wildlife. Speaking of big, fat, chunky creatures, they added your mom to the game. Did you know? Land whale! <laughs> <laughs> That's like the fifth time I've made this joke, by the way, <laughs> on my channel. <laughs> uh, dude, but, like, to be honest, this mob is kind of special to me. You know why? It's like one of the first thumbnails I ever made. And you won't believe this, I made the thumbnail in Microsoft Paint. <laughs> I'm serious, guys. This is like, like you know, this, that, my the older videos on my channel are a testament to the fact that you can genuinely build anything out of nothing if you put your mind to it, okay? The channel is about to hit 8,000 subscribers and I cannot be more grateful. And it started with me making Minecraft 
thumbnails in Microsoft Paint. If you're curious, what I would do is I would take screenshots, like just like screenshots, and then I would uh, open the image, uh, like edit the image in Microsoft Paint, and I would just like painstakingly fill the background with the flat color. <laughs> and, and then I just like add some text or something. So yeah, this creature is was one of the first ones where I remember thinking, this is so colorful, everyone's gonna watch this video. And they kind of did. This, this video has like thousands of views, which is sad to me. And happy at the same, I'm happy because of course my video is getting views. But I'm sad because it's like, that's how hundreds of people in the world perceive me. Okay, that video is the only knowledge that at least a hundred people have of my existence. That's kind of terrifying. You can cheer these guys for their coral, by the way, which is kind of cool. You can get some coral blocks and then it's just like a colorful painted whale. <laughs> And also the bebes. Can you share the bebes? No, you cannot. But the cool thing that we have discovered, thank God I took the coral off this thing, is that you can feed it the coconut milk, put on a saddle, or at least, yep, put on a... What's going on? Is the game crashing? What's, what's happening? Oh God, this might be the end. This might be the end, the end you guys. This might be how the video ends. Please. <laughs> uh, just in case on that note you guys <laughs> I hope you've liked I hope you've commented and I hope you've subscribed and this is why we play in 1.20 now okay it's to avoid stuff like this and for now a goodbye